What a night. Come on. Who calls at this ungodly hour? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, really. Only uh, this place ain't on the map. I know. Look, we've got the delivery. It's round the back. There's 10,000 eggs, 15,000 gallons of milk, 20,000 tons of flour and custard powder, and just a pinch of nutmeg. Are you having a pie? No. I, I mean, you are the owner of the castle. I am the Count. Ah, well, I need the owner's name on the invoice, see, so uh, if he's in... He's out. Oh, look, come on, it's past midnight and I want to get home. Look, do us a favour and sign here, mate. Don't wave your petty little paper in front of my face. Oh, look, please, uh, it's just for the record. I mean, every delivery's got one. There was no delivery. Uh, yes, there was. I mean, it's all piled up around there. I don't try and be a pain in the neck. I think you'll find I don't have to try too hard. What? Here? Why are you grinning at me like that? No, now get off. No, stop. No, just stop. Such foolish human fodder. They never suspect, do they? It's pathetic. Master. Talking of pathetic. Igor, my cretinous cliché, is the custard ready to be prepared? Oh, yes, Master. I've checked the vat. Yes. Now listen. I want you to do a job for oh, me. anything you say, Master. Go into the town and bring me the first virgin with blonde hair that you find. Oh, yes, Master. Oh, and Igor, make sure it's a girl this time. I'll try, Master. <laughs> You called for me, sir. Okay, um, this is serious. We've had one of our female agents stationed in Java for some years. It's always been quiet there. Until, that is, we received her last transmission. Oh, uh, damn. Where did I put that tape? Uh, Miss Laid, sir? Yes, that's the girl, Gloria Laid. Ah, here it is. You mean my darling Gloria? Shh. Sir, I haven't much time. I think someone's following me. Send help. Urgent. This is the big one. I can't say much. There's someone listening. Okay, Gloria, it's only us. All right, then. Beware the pie. Beware the pie. No, no, it doesn't make much sense to me. I believe this is the handiwork of the Hooded Claw. What makes you say it's him? It's the Hooded Claw! <coughs> I'm giving you the mission, Em. What? I couldn't possibly. Come on, Em, you're the best suited. And besides, you've tackled the claw before. Hmm, it'll take more than that to persuade me, though. I've already assigned Eddie Barton to check up on a few leads. Eddie Barton? But he's still in the West Indies with his girl. Jamaica? No, I believe she went sir, to her own... Sir, sir, Don't say it. It's not worth it. Well, he started it. Eddie, what are you doing here? I came as quick as I could. Why? It's the hooded claw. What? He struck again. When? Yesterday. Where? Java. So? Well, it's like this. When I arrived, everything appeared to be quite normal. But at night, it had become strangely suspicious. No, it was strange than that. That's better. Everyone was shivering under a dark blanket. It was fear. Yes, fear. Stark, raving, mad, uncontrollable fear. Nobody dares go out, except this strange, toothless zombie. He kept muttering over and over, Beware the pie. Beware the pie. Strange, that. So, Gloria, let's talk. Creep. Oh, things such as why Igor caught you snooping around the shrubbery. I wasn't snooping at all. I was just looking. I mean, I was... You was beating around the bushes, yes? Spill the beans or I'll spill your blood. All right, I give in. I'll tell you everything. I'm a spy and I've been tracking you for years. I saw the delivery and I know what you're planning. You'll never get away with it, do you hear? I know about the pie. Oh, shut up and let me bite your neck. Oh, yes, master. I just want to sleep into something more comfortable. Later, Igor. First, take the young lady and shove her in the clothes closet. Oh, God! Oh, no, please! I beg you! Not the clothes closet! Don't argue. Hey, this way, miss. You'll pay for this! You haven't heard the last of me yet! M will rescue me! M? M? Big, fat, bumbling, cretinous Colonel M? Yeah, that's the one. He was always the bad egg in my omelette. I thought I'd beaten him once and for all. Well, he didn't! And you can bet he's coming back to settle the score. Well, I hope he does. Good night, Miss Gloria. You'll live to regret this. I think not. And that is that. Igor? Oh, yes, Master. Fix that tap.
Well, have you got the passports? Yes, they're in the rucksack. I think our expenses could stretch. My back's killing me. <laughs> Giddy up, Dobbin. Can't you hold the carrot for a while? It's my turn to ride. I beg your pardon. I bought that carrot, therefore I ride. Well, if I'd known that, I'd have bought a whole crate of carrots. Oh, stop whining and check into the hotel. You take the cases and I'll park the donkey. <laughs> oh, move, you stupid ass. I'm going as quick as I can. I didn't mean you. I meant the donkey. Why do I always have to bring you on one of my missions? Master, Master, come in, Wise Owl. Oh, how does this work? Oh, hello, this is Demented Sparrow or Hub calling Wise Owl. I think I've just seen Dodo and Pigeon flying to the nest. I'll keep watch while they lay their eggs. Hello, Master, are you receiving me? Car 3 4, do we have a ticket to the 82 Royal Gardens? <laughs> All right, I'll be right there. Ah, hello, room service. Yes, I'd like to order the lobster thermidor with croquet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and all the trimmings. Yes, and a Clara 69 if you've got it. Lovely. And that's on the two mysterious men on a skiing holiday account. Pardon? Oh, well, I'll just have beans on toast then. Hello, sir. Where the hell have you been? I've been checking the floor, sir. You've been down the casino, haven't you? No, I haven't. Yes, you have. I saw you. You saw me? Worse, I bet on you. 20 quid, I went 27. You can't play for Toffee. Who taught you that game, anyway? You did, um, um, I think there's somebody at the door, sir. Ah, room service. Careful, sir. Could be a trap. Good thinking, Eddie. I'll go and hide, <coughs> conceal myself, in the bathroom. If I hear any rough stuff, I'll flush the toilet twice. Will that mean you're coming? No, it'll have me not been. Okay, coming. Right, I'm in position. Ooh. Hello? Is this room 712? Yes. Are you Eddie Barton? Yes. Are you alone? Yes. Can I come in? I need to talk. You want to talk? Yes. Well, you'd best come in then. <coughs> oh, you've got a woman in there, haven't you? Oh my god! She's dead! Good heavens, a naked body! What's happened to my wetsuit? This is hideous. Look at the way they've chopped and mangled her head. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, it's obscene! Um, they're her feet. Ugh. Anyway, what are these mysterious holes on her neck? It looks like she's been attacked by some rabid animal. I never touched her. These are no ordinary bite marks. Oh, sir. Fangs ain't what they used to be. Joking apart, though, I wouldn't be too surprised if someone overheard her fatal cry and has already phoned the authorities, who are now racing over here at top speed to apprehend us as prime suspects of murder. Oh, come on, Eddie, what is up? Us, prime suspects. What the happen? OK, this is the police. Open up in there. Eddie, we'll be prime suspects. All right, we've got you surrounded. The game's up, do you hear me? You're dealing with Inspector McGruff of the Yard. What? The backyard? Eddie, Eddie, if we were arrested, it'll blow our cover, ruin the mission, and the claw will have a free hand. Seems to me the claw's already had a hand in this. What? You mean we were set up? Yep, it's a frame. George and I think. And the perfect escape. Eddie, I'm not jumping out of the window. Look, it's easy. Just close your eyes and think of England. Ah! Or on the underground floor? Okay, just slam the donkey into first and let's get out of here. They've escaped. Uh, another hapless victim. Cool, look at her. Sergeant, how many does that make? Fourth this week, sir. Well, it's got to stop. They won't get far. Call the flying squid. You mean the flying squad, sir? No, I mean the flying squid. Eight legs, but only one brain between them. But they work cheap, and they're expendable. Right, I'm off, Sergeant. Take her down to the morgue. Yes, sir. Right, Missy. Let's be having you. <sighs> Crikey, you're still alive. Yes, I'm alive. And very hungry. Here, now lie down. You've had a nasty bite. Don't 
tempt me.